your eyes automatically go to the top. Mm-hmm. So if you start looking on top, you, you tend to look at the place a bit bigger as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Right? The second thing, use light colors on the walls, yeah. Yeah, like I said earlier. Uh, while darker colors make a room look very cozy, they also absorb light instead of uh, reflecting it, right? Making the space feel smaller. Mm-hmm. Opt for lighter colors uh, on the ceilings as well as uh, on the walls as well as flooring, mm. right? Uh, this will make the room feel a bit more airy, mm. right? Pull furniture away from the wall to create the illusion of spaciousness. Mm. Now, most of us, Malaysians especially, Furniture is against the wall. We're talking about any sort of furniture, like wardrobes to cupboards to, to couches, so couches beds. All right. It's always against the wall. But if you if you live in a small space, pull it away from the wall. All right. All right. Uh, pushing furniture up against the wall makes everything look and feel cramped. Hmm. Right. Uh, even just few inches in between the wall and your and the bigger items, it can make the uh, space look more wider. To make the space look more uh, livable, right? right? Uh, make sure you use uh, hidden storage and multi-purpose items, mm. right? Get a coffee table or desk that have uh, hidden components for you to store items within it, right. so you're not stare- storing items around it. Mm. Mm. So your all your storage goes inside these items, making the space a bit more clutter-free. Right. Yeah. Hang shelves near the ceiling. To draw eyes upwards. This is similar. There's a similar illusion to earlier as well. Mm-hmm. A high shelf could be stored with a lineup of uh, books or DVDs or a collection of CDs. Mm-hmm. Uh, only problem is, uh, well, cleaning it would be a bit of a <laughs> headache, right? You know, yeah. dust yeah. collects. Yeah. But anyhow, the eyes are drawn upwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when the eyes are drawn upwards, you're creating the illusion of length. Mm. Yeah. Right. Uh, follow the cantaloupe rule. What's a cantaloupe rule? Decorative scents smaller than a cantaloupe crowd a room. Right. Uh-huh. Right? So, like, the size of a person's head, technically? P- Anything pretty much. smaller than that is yeah. going to make things more cramped. Correct. So, you're not encouraging people to sort of collecting little bits and pieces of things that they don't really necessarily need, right? Yeah, because it's just, it's just clutter. Mm, okay, you know? okay. So cantaloupe size, nothing smaller than a cantaloupe, yeah. uh, it wouldn't crowd the room. Alright, right. so right. our listeners, if you don't know what a cantaloupe is, it's like a watermelon, right? If I'm not wrong, it's, it's the mean, size of a melon. melon. It's like a melon. It's like a melon, yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. Yeah. Google it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, uh, choose statement furniture that fills the room. Uh, in a living, uh, in a small living room, one large couch instead of multiple small piece, uh, smaller pieces, actually decreases the look of clutter mm-hmm. and makes a room feel bigger. So, four hundred square feet. We're talking about a four hundred square foot unit, right? If you have uh, a three piece sofa in there, mm. it's just gonna look like it's all over the place. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So a one for one sofa set, you know, L shape. Yeah. That will uh, ease the space a little sure. bit. Sure. Yeah. Right. Uh, use stripes to elongate the space. Just like uh, vertical stripes on clothing, mm-hmm. a striped rug will make your room appear longer. Okay. Right? Orient the stripes to go to the length of the room that is the longest for optical effect. Mm. Yeah? Now, we all know that. Right? You, know, you use spots, it makes you look bigger. Yeah. You use stripes, it makes you look uh, oh, slimmer, yeah. longer, taller, and so on and so forth. It works for a room as well. Mm. Mm, mm, yeah? Mm. Color code your shelves to create the look of uh, structure. Whether it's with uh, size or color or type, anything that makes a group of uh, smaller items look intentionally arranged will make it feel more streamlined. Okay. Right? This works for books or anything else that is visible in your home. All right. Right? Uh, use a clear shower curtain in a tiny bathroom. Mm. Right? A lot of us... Uh, especially in today's world, bathrooms. The first thing we do is we put a shower screen. Yeah. Right. We put a shower screen so we don't. We have the the effect of the wet bathroom and the dry bathroom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. I personally hate walking into wet bathrooms. Yeah. 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 But if your bathroom is small and you're compartmentalizing it, what happens is you won't have space to move. Mm. Right. So maybe don't use don't 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 convert the bathroom into two spots, but instead you use a clear. Uh, shower curtain. 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 Alright, okay. yeah. that's very, very mm. interesting. Now we're going to take a really short break, uh, but when we come back, we're going to uh, you know, continue on with 
you know, talking to Guna about how to make smaller units look and feel much bigger. So far, it's been very, very helpful. I mean, I've got a billion and one questions to ask, obviously, when it comes to budgeting and all of that. But you know what? We'll come back in a bit. Enjoy this tune for now. Tracks of M. <laughs> This is Tracks FM's morning show, and yes, Fridays we have a little segment called Property on Tracks with a man, Guna Prasad Bupalin, and today's topic, it's about making smaller units yeah. look and feel much bigger. So. Uh, earlier we went over the how the color scheme is supposed to come mm. along, how the furniture is supposed to be moved around to make the space look a little bit bigger. Yeah. Well, Guna, what else do we have in the list on trying to make smaller units look and feel much bigger? Alright, you also leave your windows uncovered to give a room more depth. Okay. Right? More light gives... A space depth. Right. If you're worried about privacy, Roman shades or blinds instead of curtains look less crowded. Hmm. Right. And keep it open most of the time. Right. Right. Uh, use dramatic art pieces to make a room feel more exp uh, expensive. Oh. Instead of a gallery wall, choose art pieces that are large and bold. Uh -huh. yeah. So like with really big frames and like with yeah. really big portraits. You know, with, with, with funny characters in it okay. and stuff like that. Mm. Instead of that, art, that, 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 that wall, the gallery wall that lots of us do, yes. all our pictures. Mm. pictures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's clut cluttering. Uh, if you've got small space, don't clutter it. Okay. Right? Oh. Buy glass or lucid items. Mm. Glass and lucid pieces are totally in style right now mm. and can provide an added function of not taking up too much visual space. Okay. Right? Because glass is see-through. Mm -hmm. well, it's opaque. Yeah. You know, so you get you get that feel as well. Yeah. Ditch the overhead lights. Mm. Right? Harsh top-down lighting uh, pulls all the light in one space. Instead, use a few smaller lamps to uh, spread the light around and draw the eye around the room. Mm. Uh, the the, the downlights don't work in small rooms, in small apartments, small condos. Right. Mm. I don't use downlights. Use uh, uh, statement lights. Mm -hmm. You know, statement lights in different different areas. Like like what I just said, it draws attention, draws the eye's attention around the room. Mm. So again, creating that visual effect of a uh, space. Okay. Uh, one more question, since we're a little bit on, on lighting here, would mm. you recommend a little bit of warm lighting or the cooler ones for smaller units? Oh. Good question, mm. actually. Okay, the warm lightings are perfect because okay. it gives you a bit more of a, an atmosphere, mm -hmm. a proper atmosphere compared to the white light. Yeah. Right? 
uh, white lights tend to uh, uh, make everything look a bit blah. Uh, okay. Right? right. So if you're going to be uh, decorating your room to create a statement, mm-hmm. uh, uh, blah does not work. Right. Warm mm-hmm. lights is the way to go. Warm lights is the way to go. Right? Yeah, 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 and and, and, and it's also better on the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's better not, on too the glaring, not too right? glaring. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so we'll go on. Like, uh, what else can we do? I mean, rugs, for example. Is there mm. anything, any, anything that we can do? Yes, definitely use rugs to separate one room into smaller spaces. Mm. Uh, especially useful in studio apartments. Mm. Uh, this creates the appearance of having more than one space in a large one. You know, what I mean by this is basically use different rugs in the room itself. Mm. So it's sort of like splits the room instead of using a partition. Yes. Oh, that's clever. All right. Mm-hmm. And what else? Uh, to create unity. Use different shades of the same color. Oh, do it again. Okay. Now, for the wall, rug, and furniture, using different shades of the same color creates a visual coherence mm-hmm. that makes the space feel open. Right? If you're not uh, in the market for new furniture, adding a throw uh, of pillows or accessories in the same shade can, it can give you the same effect. Mm. So if you're going for blue, get everything in blue, right. different shades of blue. If you're going for pink, get everything in shades of pink. Mm. So literally, I don't recommend that. <laughs> 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 but browns, you know, go for, go for browns. Right. Uh, don't go for too dark colors. Sure, mm. sure. Right? Get the lighter colors, but play around with that with that shade. Okay. Right. Uh, furniture with uh, exposed legs is key. Mm. Now, instead of a sofa with a skirt or a boxy chest. Yes. Right. Uh, bigger pieces with uh, exposed legs are perfect for small space. Mm. Uh, show off those legs. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. I see you've got permission to show off the legs. <laughs> 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 to, to, to go ahead and do that. We're talking about your funny <laughs> <though. laughs> <laughs> Just letting you know. Okay. Fair basically, enough. when things are lifted off the floor, yes. you've got the feel of the floor. Correct. Yeah. Instead of sh- uh, shutting down the floor and closing it up. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, strategic, uh, strategically place mirrors to create the illusion of more space. Oh, right. The classic mm-hmm. one. The classic yeah. one. Yeah. Right? Uh, placing a mirror across from a window is the best way to reflect light mm. yeah, and make the room feel larger. Mm. Another trick is to place a large window behind a chest or end table for a glamorous uh, uh, effect oh. that makes it uh, look like a whole other space is stuck behind it. Interesting. Okay. Right? Then another way is actually to place two mirrors against each other. Ah, okay. To create yeah. that like uh, never ending space. Never ending yeah, space. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right. And uh, feng shui wise, yeah. place a big uh, mirror against your opposite your makan table. All right. Okay. It creates an illusion of food always there. Oh, oh I'm gonna do that. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. What and always curtains? place fruits on the table. Fruits, eh? So you're never without food in the house. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. What about curtains? Mm. Hang curtains directly from the ceiling to give the illusion of more. Uh, Height, mm. right? A lot of us, what we do is our curtains are halfway. Correct. Right. But instead of getting halfway curtains, put the curtains all the way up to the ceiling. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's all the way up to the ceiling. Yeah, mm-hmm. you spend a little bit more on curtain on fabric, mm-hmm. but that does not matter because you're going to get that, that effect there as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Again, it's drawing the eyes upwards. Yes. So when you whatever you can do to draw your eyes upwards, do that. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, and. Basically, finally, break all the rules, Ooh. right? Mm. Just because it's a living room doesn't mean you need a sofa and a coffee table and a TV. All right. right? Unexpected furniture and layout uh, will make the space itself feel more open and fun and personal. Mm. Maybe you want a bean bag for a chair. Nice. Right? Maybe you want a swing inside. Okay. Right? Maybe you want both. Wild. All right, so I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna move my bed from my room and I'm gonna move it to my living room. I'm gonna start staying and living in my living room. Well, you gotta be reasonable as well. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yeah. So basically, anything is possible with interior design and creativity. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the above twenty pointers that we just ran through, mm-hmm. you should now be able to uh, prepare yourself to make uh, the best of your available space in those uh, four hundred mm-hmm. to six hundred square feet mm-hmm. units. Yeah. Well, remember the saying, if you made your bed, you're going to have to sleep in it. Yeah. Mm. All right? Literally, spend a little on your ID and live comf- uh, comfortably instead of feeling claustrophobic or uncomfortable at your own home. Okay. Oh, it's mm. really unfortunate that we are running out of time, but I've just got one last question, uh, and I think it would be important for people who would imagine, who would want to invest in smaller properties, whether they wish to you know, rent it out, live there by themselves, 
how much should they spend when it comes to any of the re renovations or any of the changes that you had given us, like all the tips? Well, my personal uh, opinion based on research that we have done, mm -hmm. right, is 30% of your purchase price. 30% of your purchase price. Okay. Don't go beyond that. All right. right. I don't go beyond that yet. Okay. Because you, that means that you're a bit more comfortable with the amount that you're spending for your renovation and work within that budget. Mm. If let's say you've got 30,000 ringgit to spend on renovation, mm -hmm. spend 30,000 okay. or less. All right. Don't spend thirty five thousand and forty thousand because thirty five thousand forty thousand becomes forty five thousand fifty thousand. Yeah, mm. and the value doesn't really work out properly, yeah. does it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Fair enough. Thank you so much, uh, Guna, for being here with us today again. On every Fridays, we've got property on tracks. He'll be coming back again next week, but I'm not gonna be around, unfortunately. You're gonna hang oh, out with me, okay? okay? Yeah, but I will yeah. be listening from be, afar. It'll be a guy show next week. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> so but yeah, here we five. we look forward to hearing what you guys will be talking about next week. If you have any questions, you could actually head to Facebook um, at Tracks FM Official. We're live right now. You can rewatch the interview, and we just want to say what's up to Rosa Fru Rose Rosafina Chai. Yep. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so anyway, we will be back in a bit, but thank you so much, Guna. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good weekend, we'll and have a good weekend, week. everyone out there. Yes, for sure, for sure. Anywho, more to the music. We'll catch you in a bit. Traffic in Kuala Lumpur.